In this video, we're going to talk about how to insert images in our notes and also how to create and specify a folder so that by default, our images will be stored in that specific folder. And also, we are going to talk about how to delete images from our vault and also how to resize our images. So please stay tuned. Now let's talk about how we can insert some images in our notes. For example, suppose that for each of these books, we want to insert their corresponding images so for example here as you can see this is the image of the first book so here's an image and i copy this image and i simply go to obsidian and i paste that image and i press enter so as you can see this is our first image and by the way i'm sure that you're asking some questions for example one of them is that how can we resize these images and these types of things which i'm going to cover them later on in this video so please wait a minute and also let's do the same thing for this book so this is finished by john acuff so i copy the image and here i paste this image as well and by the way remember that you can also for example take a screenshot of each of these images if i take a screenshot of each of these images and i go to obsidian and i paste that again we can do the same thing i mean we can insert images by doing so as well but as you can see when i paste these images when i put these images and my notes if you pay attention to this part of obsidian i mean the side panel of obsidian where files and folders and these types of things are located as you can see these images are pasted in the main path and the main folder of our obsidian vault and this makes this part cluttered and disorganized and we don't want that we want to make all the stuff organized so for example suppose that we want to create a folder and from now on we want to store all of those images in that specific folder which we are going to create and by doing so all the stuff will be more organized so in order to do so first of all let's create a folder so i click on on this and let's name that folder assets and i want to create another folder inside this folder so i right click on it and i click on this new folder and let's name this attachments so now i go to settings so i click on this and here i click on files and links so i want to go to this section and after that, as you can see, one of these options is this, which says default location for new attachments. And as you can see, by default, it's the vault folder, but I want to change that. So I click on it and I click on this, which says in the folder specified below. So I click on it and here I should specify the attachment folder path so i click here and as you can see because my vault doesn't have that many folders it shows all of those folders here but suppose that you have a very big vault with a lot of folders and subfolders and you cannot find them in this uh you know window so if you want to search for that you can type the first letters of that folder which is attachments so as you can see it says oh there we have found something called attachments in a folder called assets and i want to store those images in this folder so i click on it that's it and after that i close this and let's select these three images in order to do so i click on the first one and i hold down the shift key and i click on the last item so as you can see we have selected all of these stuff and i drag them and i drop them in this folder i mean this attachments folder and let's click on this in order to navigate back to our notes and from now on whenever i paste an image that image will be stored in this folder so let's test it for example let's take a screenshot of this section and let's move down and as you can see when i paste that image so as you can see it appears 
in this subfolder, I mean in this attachments folder. And if I paste these images, so as you can see, all of those images will be stored in this attachments folder. And if you want to see a preview of these images while you're hovering your mouse over these files, you should press the control key on your keyboard. And as soon as you do that, you can see a preview of that image. And for example, this is the second image and this is the third image. But as you can see, the, this a third, this fourth, and all the way up to the last item, these are some images that we don't need for this note because yes we do need the first few images but we don't need the other images i've added those other images just for demonstration purposes so i want to delete them in order to do so i click on the first one and i hold down the shift key and i click on the last one and after that i press the delete key on my keyboard and here i confirm that i want to delete these files and it is going to ask this same question for each of those images. So I should accept that for each of those images. And then it's very obvious that these images actually don't exist. For example, if you don't believe me, let's close this and let's open this note again. So as you can see, these two images are still there, but the others are not available because we have deleted all of them. So I select all of these things and I uh, delete them because we have actually deleted all of those images. And now let's collapse this subfolder and also let's collapse this folder as well. So this is our notes with some images. And now let's talk about how to resize these images because as you can see these images are so big and it is not beautiful actually. So let's resize these images. In order to do so, using the arrow keys, I move down to this image. And as you can see, this is our image. It says pasted image, and this is the time that I have pasted this image. And in order to resize this image using arrow keys, I should using, I mean, the left arrow key, I go to this part, I mean, after the extension of the file, this extension.png. After this, I insert a pipe, a vertical line, and maybe you ask, oh, how should I insert this image? Maybe you can't find that on your keyboard. So for doing so on your keyboard, you should press let's move this down so for this you should go to this part i mean after the extension of the file and then you should press shift and here is the pipe so i click on it and as you can see we have added that vertical line i mean that pipe and after that i should specify the size for example if i pass 500 as you can see i have resized that image or I can, for example, pass 200 to make it smaller, for example, 300 or whatever. And I click somewhere else in order to exit out of that edit mode. And let's do the same thing for this image. So I place this cursor after the extension of the file. And after that, I insert a pipe and I type 300. And I uh, click somewhere else in order to exit out of that edit mode so as you can see we have resized our images and now i'm sure that some people are asking this question that they may ask can we place these images for example on the right side or left side or the center the answer is yes and also some other people may ask is there a way to place these images in the center by default and the answer to this question is also yes and we're going to cover these things in the next video of this step-by-step -step tutorial playlist and you can find the link to that playlist in the description below this was one of the videos of a step-by-step -step tutorial playlist of obsidian you can find the link to that playlist in the description below and also we have other playlists for other topics which you can find them on the channel page